Hi, this is Josh Olson, and we're going to burn our draft cards and let the sun shine in because this is peace, this is love, this is the dawning of the age of trailers from hell. This is hair. The late 70s were the beginning of the period during which Hollywood uh, started openly addressing the Vietnam War. They really hadn't made too many movies about it since then. It was kind of the great secret that we never talked about. Coming Home and Deer Hunter had come out in 78, as well as the wonderful but very little scene, Go Tell the Spartans. And Apocalypse Now came out in 79. And then, also in 1979, there's this, there's Hair. Uh, it's a wonderful film based on the Broadway show from the 60s that was an attempt to capture the spirit of that time. I can't really speak to that. I'm not of that generation. It was something that we always kind of chuckled about and make jokes about dirty, filthy hippies, but I know people loved the play. It was a very loose play. It was mostly musical numbers, not really much of a plot. It was notable because of a couple of songs that broke out and became hits. Uh, the Age of Aquarius, of course, and Let the Sun Shine In. Uh, it also featured a brief moment of nudity, which was very scandalous for the time. When the movie was announced more than 10 years later, it, it seemed like a, a strange idea, a really dumb idea, in fact. It was way too late. The time had passed. The late 70s were a very different time than the late 60s. Hippies seemed quaint, almost laughable. The film really should have, by all accounts, there's just no reason for it not to be a complete catastrophe. But somehow playwright Michael Weller came up with a fantastic story uh, using elements of the original show, and Milos Forman directed the hell out of it and made what I think is probably one of the three best movies of 1979, along with Apocalypse Now and Escape from Alcatraz. It's interesting because one of the stars is John Savage, who was also in The Deer Hunter the year before, another Vietnam film. He plays uh, a young kid from the sticks who comes to town. He's just been drafted, and he falls in with a group of hippies led by Treat Williams in his star-making debut. He'd done a couple of small parts before this, but this was his first leading role. All the performances are terrific. Treat Williams is absolutely amazing. You're watching the birth of a movie star. He should have been bigger. The music also was gorgeously arranged and orchestrated. It never sounded better. And you have to give a special shout out to Twyla Tharp, who uh, choreographed the film, one of the great choreographers. I, I will never forget, it's just one of the most amazing scenes uh, I've ever seen in a movie. You caught a brief glimpse of it here uh, when uh, John Savage first comes to Central Park and, and all the hippies are dancing and you see mounted police on their horses and the horses are dancing in unison. It's a surprising and stunningly moving and effective film. It's gorgeous un and unreal, and uh, this is coming from a guy who really doesn't like musicals. If you have not seen Hair, you owe it to yourself to check it out and let the sun shine in.